Hello and welcome to another um, Happy Home Paradise Home Tours video. Um, this time I'm going to be touring um, some cranky villager homes that I find via the um, Happy Home Network, uh, the showroom, um, that is created by other players. Um, I think it's a lot of fun just to see all the different um, creative ideas people come up with. Um, and especially for the cranky villagers, I'm kind of curious as to the different uh, types of builds that there are. So let's get started. Alright, let's see what we've got. Okay, so we've got a roommate's situation here. We got Roscoe with Queenie, um, and they both kind of like the black and white look, so it, it makes sense to put them together. Um, but let's check out the network ID first, and then we can tour the home. So this person's done a whole bunch of builds. Looks for, like some really interesting stuff too. But let's go to this one. All right, great. So, um, definitely a black and white theme, which is really cool. I like the use of the different flowers and um, some nice custom code designs as well. Lovely little flower patterns there too. And then we've got these, uh, these pretty plumeria bushes too. I don't think there are any bushes that have like black flowers or anything too dark on them. Um, but these, but these are nice, a nice addition. So they've got like a little outdoor eating area. It looks like a really great place to just chill out outside. It's really pretty. Love that it's set among the cedars in this forest kind of area. Really pretty for both of them. Okay, and indoors, keeping with that um, that theme of uh, the black and white. We've got this kitchen area here and DJ area, so you know you can listen to music and party down while you're cooking. That's really fun. And then over here is more a cozy a cozy living space. They can watch TV, they can play games, they can sew. Um, that's really cool. And then. <coughs> <clears throat> That's not all, but I love the way that the designer has broken up this floor to create different rooms in different sections because it makes it look quite large. Um, so in this area, you've got um, I'm gonna I'm gonna guess this is Roscoe's bedroom. Um, yeah, it's got his poster. So and then what looks like a custom code for a picture. I'm not quite sure what that is. That looks interesting. And uh, yeah, really cool rock and roll um, kind of vibe for Roscoe. Looks pretty cool. And then, and then a nice little bathroom area as well. Really pretty. Always singing along. Oh, there's a microphone there. That's so cool. Oh, that's great. All right, let's let's go check upstairs. Let's see what let's see what's up here. Okay, and this this is this looks a little bit more like Queenie's uh, space. This is um, a little bit less rock and roll, a little bit more classy. Um, you got this little movie watching area. Love the little popcorn. Um, features over here as well, popcorn and drinks. And then they can play chess, play piano, and I think that's a clarinet. Um, do a little laundry, cooking. Really cozy, um, which, which is kind of interesting because it is like a very stark black and white look, but I think there's a nice coziness, very homey. Uh, I love this, um, this rug as well, really pretty. 
so it's a similar uh, similar layout. So let's go see what's over here. This looks like her bedroom. With a couple of little purple touches as well. Oh yeah, really, really cool. Um, and then more custom, custom artwork over there. Uh, let's go in here, and then this is her bathroom. So it's really nice they have their own, their own bathrooms. Um, that's really cool. Yeah, really, really classy, really pretty. Great, well done. This is really, really fun. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, and then here we have the uh, Castle of the Noble Knight, which has got Nox and Elvis. Um, and I... It looks like it's the same designer as the one here with the monotone home. So this is another roommate's um, setting, but I think both of these are crankies. Um, so that's really neat. So let's go check this one out. Okay, great. And so here, this is set in a desert scene, which is interesting for castles. Um, the gray and the black really stand out, I think, in contrast to this, to this desert environment. So that's really interesting. Some really cool, colorful custom codes down here too. And give it kind of a fairy tale uh, feel. I like the gray and the black, it's, uh, it's quite dramatic. And then you've got this little area, this little outdoor seating, a uh, little cooking area here too. So yeah, there's quite a lot to this build out here. They really made the most. They really made the most of it. Let's head inside. And then here um, you've got different a different pattern. Um, for the castle um, pieces. Um, a lot brighter, um, a lot of blues in this room. Blues and whites and grays, so it's a lot lighter of a feel. I really love what they did with the, um, the potted plants mixed with the hanging vines and the hanging moss. That's a really, really interesting look. And then here you have is the centerpiece, um, quite, quite literally the centerpiece is the uh, the sword with the with the map. Um, so yeah, definitely looks like a royal kind of residence. Uh, they've got the the thrones here. They can enjoy a nice cup of tea <laughs> while they sit and hold court and discuss matters of the kingdom. Uh, little, I love this little kitchen area. It's really cute. And of course, they got the knights keeping guard as well. So let's go upstairs. Okay. So we've got, um, looks like a bedroom, bathroom, living area um, up here as well. And again, keeping with the blues, um, but this is kind of a darker blue, and then you have um, a gold, a bit of gold, a gold feature wall over here, which is, uh, kind of makes sense for a royal royal residence. Um, so here we have Knox's room. Um, we've got his, his night gear over here that you can see. Uh, and then over here is uh, Elvis's royal bedroom. And uh, looks very regal, very classy. He's even got his own laptop, pretty neat. And, uh, and then here's a really pretty um, kind of living kitchen space to chill out. Yeah, really pretty. Very classy. 
Okay, cool. All right, really pretty, pretty royal residence for them both. All right, great. See what else there is. Okay, and here we have a retro residence. Look, I see lots of orange. <laughs> uh, very, very bright, very uh, psychedelic, maybe. I don't know. But this looks interesting. Let's check out the, uh, the network ID first, just in case you want to see the other builds that this person has done. Uh, they've done quite a few. They all look to be... Um, pretty detailed. Looks like they put a lot of work into these builds. So let's tour this one. Let's tour Lobo's Retro Residence. <laughs> Alright, and this is set um, in a desert oasis, which is pretty cool. So he's really like gotten away from it all. Mm. And a lot of peace and love um, <laughs> written, written in well, a lot of love. Um, written into the uh, into the sand. I like these codes. It's really nice. Really fun. Lots of orange, vibrant colors. Uh, it's a really chilled out place. I like the combination of the cactuses and the, uh, the palm trees. Yep. Let's go inside. Okay. Oh, this is cute. So, um, I love the bright colors. Kind of gives a 70s kind of vibe. Kind of like he's an old hippie living out in the desert. He's got his own place. He can, he can do what he wants. He can go at his own pace. He's got, he loves music. So he's got a bunch of music he can listen to. Love this little kitchen area, a little breakfast bar for him. And then he can keep his plants as well. Then you have this little back area. I don't know if that's just storage or, or what that's meant to be for, but um, it creates an interesting space here in this room, an interesting shape for the room, I think. Um, yeah, it's really fun, really cozy. All right. And I love the orange, the orange flower pattern in that feature wall. Um, that really works well. Oh, and then up here you have a cozy bedroom. Um, I really like the, uh, not only the, the custom patterns, um, the window features, um, but the fact that the feature wall is these beautiful uh, tropical blues. I think they uh, contrast quite well with, um, maybe not contrast, but they're, they're complementary with the orange and with the, with the wood. It's really pretty. But this is, yeah, pretty, a pretty chilled out little bedroom for him. He's even got a gyroid, giving it, giving it its all for the music. <laughs> Dancing away. Yeah, really cute. And he's, uh, he's just chilling. He's got his coffee. Oh yeah, he's having, just having a relaxing time. Pretty cool build. I like it. I think it works well for Lobo. Okay, and we've got Sid and his streaming HQ. So let's go check out um, the network ID for Allegra, who um, created just created quite a few builds from the looks of it. And they are a breakout designer. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, and this looks like a, a fun little island. He's got um, some music going. And it looks like maybe he invites some friends over, you know, for some snacks and drinks once he's done streaming. Um, he's got these little different stools and things for people to sit on. But yeah, pretty, pretty cute little, cute little island for him to chill. Let's head inside. Ooh, and this is this is pretty swanky. This is this is a, a dream house for gamers, I think. <laughs> You've got the um, I like how the Nintendo Switch is sparkling. <laughs> It's uh, the prized, the prized possession there. Uh, then you got his bedroom area over here. Looks really cozy. A little bit, a little bit messy, um, but overall, uh, pretty nice. And uh, I like the the dark wood flooring. Um, I love this rug. It's so colorful and bright. Goes really well for this little arcade book over here. It's really cute. And then this is kind of where the streaming magic happens. So he's got a nice sofa. He can he can rest when he's not streaming, when he's taking breaks. Um, he's got some snacks over here and some drinks just to keep him going. And of course, got the on-air sign as well, which makes a lot of sense. Um, yeah, it's really cute. Really cute area. Yep, pretty fun. Pretty fun, and also a pretty classy looking. A classy looking place. I like the um, the color scheme to this place. Really nice. Excellent. All right. Very cute. And then we've got Tom, the cat, and he's got a primal boxing ring. Okay, interesting. So let's look at Sky's network ID first and just see what, if anything, they've done. They've done a few, a few builds that they've shared. So that looks pretty neat. Let's go check out this one. This is set in the summer. All right, so out here is kind of where you stand in line and you wait to go in to see the boxing. Uh, you got these two, these two guys going at it right here. <laughs> but I didn't know that they, I didn't know they had bobbleheads. I didn't know you could do that. Oh, that's amazing. That's really cool. Yep, pretty simple. Because um, the magic happens inside apparently. So let's head, let's head in and see, see what's going on. And sure enough, yeah, so we got the uh, the boxing ring. Is it boxing or wrestling? I think it's boxing is what he's meant to be doing. Um, in any event, maybe he does both, who knows. In any event, this is where it all takes place. Lots of chairs for, for an audience. And um, then he's got, I like the... Um, the audience wa feature wall over there too. They're really cheering him on. And then this is kind of where he trains and uh, gets in shape. And look at him. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Tough guy right there. And yeah, pretty cool. He's got, he can shower off once he's done so he can stay clean and fit. He's got his, uh, I don't know, his protein shake stuff as well um, to keep him in fit. He's got what he needs. So there we go. Cool. Good stuff. All right, well done. And let's carry on. Okay, and here we've got Octavian. 
and his window to the sea. So let's um, first go to the network ID and check that out, just in case you want to check out this person's other other builds that they've done. And they've done a few, looks like. Um, all right. All right, and definitely um, a beach theme, at least on the outside for Octavian, which makes a lot of sense. Um, lots for him to do to relax. He can do a bit of surfing. Um, he can just hang out with his beach ball over here. He can do a sandcastle. Pretty much what you would expect for a beach build. Um, this really ticks those boxes, and it's nice and colorful too. And it's kind of a fun, relaxing mm -hmm. place to be. So let's head inside. All right, and here we go. Here is his view of an under, a nice underwater view. Really pretty. Um, and then some nice, some nice light colors overall. Light woods, um, the white, I think it's the white wall or is it the light blue? I can't quite tell. So I think the lighting has been changed a bit. In any event, it's it's really pretty. We've got his little kitchen area over here. And then this is where he can sit, watch TV, watch the fish if he wants, have some tea. This is where he sleeps. His little bedroom area. Of course, he has a book about sharks. That makes sense. I love these shell lamps. They're so pretty, so beautiful. And this is his library, so yeah, he's always learning about the sea, um, and his, you know, that's his homeland, I guess, <laughs> so it kind of makes sense. Yeah, really cute. Really cute house. Alright, great. Okay, we've got Rolf, outdoor, indoor, interesting. Okay, well let's check out um, this person's network ID first. Seems like they've done quite a few other builds. They're a superstar designer, so that's a milestone. And let's go, let's go tour this house. All right, and here we go. This one is set. Um, there is a little bit of a beach, um, but also um, a forest uh, setting as well. So he's kind of roughing it. It's a little bit outdoorsy. Um, just a, pla a, a place to get away from it all. Um, and then he can just, he can sit on this bench. He can just watch the waves and just relax. Um, he's got his little laundry area here. He's got a bike in case he wants to do some mountain biking. And uh, he can have a meal outside anytime he wants. Okay. All right, and this is a really beautiful interior. Um, somewhat of a zen theme, but not too much. I guess it would be more, I don't know, a combination of zen, antique, a bit old fashioned. Uh, although he does have um, some modern technology. He's got his, uh, his tablet, so he can connect with the wider world. Um, but also a beautiful view of, of this forest, um, little feature wall section there, it's really nice. And, um, ooh, even more natural. Um, oh, this is really cool. It's like an outdoor movie area, is the, kind of the vibe I'm getting. Um, oh, this is gorgeous, it really is. 
great use of these uh, glowing moss items. Um, I forgot what these trees are called. Um, and I love I love the, the little glowing thing that kicks up um, whenever you run around on this floor. That's really pretty. Oh, that's really cool. Very impressive. I was not expecting this at all. I was thinking it would be just another indoor, you know, kind of rustic looking space. But this is really, this is really creative. Really cool place for Rolf. I, again, I think that's what's so neat about, um, you know, touring homes with sort of the same personality. So you kind of expect maybe the same kind of looks, but it's a different look every time. That was really cute. You're welcome. Okay, and let's go for Harry's messy manor. Um, this was one of the most fun builds that I did in Happy Home Paradise, was doing a messy manor for Harry. Um, I really just kind of enjoyed making making a mess, but a strategic mess, you know. I had to I had to tell a story of mess. <laughs> Anyways, well, let's check out this one. Um, let's go to there. A happy home network ID first, and they've done quite a few. Some very colorful, interesting looking builds from these from these pictures. So let's go check out Harry's messy banner. Oh wow, okay, yep, this is a mess. <laughs> but again, I think kind of kind of a strategic mess, you know? The the mess has to make sense. I don't know. <laughs> it has to be a certain kind of mess uh for it to work. And I, I just kinda love the randomly placed weeds and the black roses in particular. Um and then you've got like an attempt at organizing these trash bags over here, you know. Um, rather than just having trash bags scattered everywhere, they are kind of put in a particular place and they sort of greet you <laughs> at the door as well, kind of giving you a hint of what's to come. Um, then he's got a few sort of pumpkins, almost like they, you know, he didn't plan for these pumpkins. They just sort of started growing. And then, and then a few randomly placed rocks. And then the simple um, kind of dirt path as well. It's really great. And this, this lonely... Um, bamboo tree and the and the stick wreath really nice and sure enough yeah we got we got more trash bags here and just randomly scattered um, trash items too these uh, these rotten turnips and uh, this old can uh, we have sort of a bedroom space here and he and he looks so happy in that poster too like he's super proud you know um we've got this this dirty dingy old wallpaper going on um, but he's got his snacks he's got his games he's got his radio you know he's he's happy he's got what he needs um also interesting use of the stone stools as well as as, as chairs um, Nothing, nothing comfortable or fancy there. We have this little kitchen area that's an absolute mess, which again you would expect. It's his messy manner after all. Um, and then for a little touch of class, we've got the Van, the Van Gogh painting. <laughs> and then here um, we've got this kind of messy blue rug, um, which works really well. Uh, for this, for this, uh, I guess, so-called living space. <laughs> oh, he's sneezing. That's great. Yeah, well, it's not exactly a picture of hygiene, is it? So, um, yeah, it's, well, it's pretty well done, I think. This is a great build for Harry. Let's get out before we catch whatever, whatever Harry has.
Alright, so we've got a rocky refuge for Avery, and that looks very rocky indeed. This is set in the fall. Um, so let's go to the network ID. And they've got a bunch of different builds um, as well. So let's go check this one out. I like the fog. That makes it look extra mysterious. So naturally, the rocky refuge is set on a rocky island. Um, but I also like these custom patterns as well. They really jump out a lighter, a lighter tone of gray, which is really, which is really neat. And then the fog almost obscures all the different things that are going on back here with this um, outdoor bath, uh, more patterns, more codes. Um, then over here, he's really fascinated by the deer. Uh, the deer scare <laughs> and I don't really know I think there's um, I don't know if we can get back there especially not with Avery in the way there but it looks like there's um, there's a cave again the fog makes it look really um, shrouded in mystery and um, mm -hmm. yeah there's it, it's a great placement of these different items um, really beautiful beautifully done and, and I really like the time of day and the kind of the weather feature that they used as well. Okay. Oh, and here we've got a lot more greenery, um, which which kind of softens the the harshness of the of the stone and the rockiness. Um, so that's really really pretty, really well done. So you have this sort of kitchen um, in the in the middle. Very simple, but effective. Um, I do really like these um, these vines, these hanging vines, and those um, those lamps, the ceiling lamps, which is gorgeous. And then you have this little bathtub area here. Um, so it's really divided into three three basic sections, um, but it makes for a really cozy cozy space, cozy living space. Just a really, really comfy looking bed there. Um, he can, yeah, he can, I don't know what the moss is all about, what he's gathering that for. We don't really know, um, but he might be doing some experiments or something with that, who knows. It's kind of, it's kind of fun to kind of think of a story for, you know, what are they doing with some of these furniture pieces and everything like that. So yeah, really pretty. Very relaxing. Definitely a rocky refuge. Okay, and here we have um, Gloria and Gonzo um, for a stylish but functional spot. Uh, this is set in the spring, and um, I know that the stylish but functional spot is Gloria's theme, so it seems to mean that Gonzo would be the roommate that, um, that has moved in with Gloria. So we'll kind of see how that affects what the build is like. It's not going to necessarily be centered on his personality or his theme, um, but there will be, there will likely be touches of that. So let's go, let's go see. Let's check out Moss's um, network ID first. Uh, they have done a few other few other builds as well. <laughs> Alright, and I oh I do like this um, this custom pattern 
pathing. Um, that's really unique. I don't really think I've seen much, much like that. Really pretty. So again, in keeping with the stylish but functional um, uh, theme for Gloria, this definitely um, kind of suggests that. So it's a uh, very stylish black kind of house. Um, and then you have this little kitchen area just for some outdoor outdoor cooking. These beautiful cedar trees. Um, she's got her, her bike. Just, you know, I kind of see her riding around maybe to the nearest town. Um, and then some simple, some simple items to get some water as well. A few flowers. Um, probably going wild. They don't seem like the gardening type. <laughs> but who knows? Um, so let's, let's head inside. Okay, and this is, um, again, this is, I would say, stylish but functional, so let's, let's break this down. Um, there's different, different room sections, um, and I love the rosewood flooring. Um, and my house had actually this combination of the light green wallpaper and the rosewood flooring, um, and I really like how it looked together, so it's nice to see this. Um, in a build like this. Looks really pretty. Really nice kitchen. Um, and then this is the living, this is the living space. And you can see Gonzo is just, um, he's just sitting there. Nice and comfy. Nice and cozy. So let's go over here. And we have the two little bedrooms. So I think this is his bedroom. Again, it's fairly simple, but functional and stylish. Very pretty. And then this glorious, um, a little bit more glamorous. Um, very pretty. And I think it's always fun to just kind of play around with these uh, partition walls and these uh, pillars just to kind of play with um, you know, different room sizes and breaking up the bigger room into, you know, little hallways and um, other rooms, that sort of thing. It's a really fun, fun thing to do, I think. Really creative. So yeah, this is a super cute, super cute house for both of them. Really nice. Okay. All right, and that was um, a really fun selection of different uh, Happy Home Paradise home builds, specifically for different cranky villagers. Um, some of them had roommates as well, which um, kind of expanded the way that people created homes for them. Um, it was really pretty. Um, you had a few that were quite messy. Um, <laughs> Harry, I'm looking at you. And, uh, but then you had some others that were um, very rustic, uh, very pretty. Um, you had some that were just really fun and colorful. It was, it was really great to kind of see these different, these different homes and the different ways that people um, create homes for these different villagers. It's, it's a good source of inspiration. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.